Laura Sims Peck and I'm the curator here at the warehouse. I'd like to welcome you to our inaugural exhibition, Concentration. This piece by Kathy Kolbetz is a self-portrait. Um, it's a soft ground etching. It's actually a restrike. The original is from 1921. And what makes it so unique for the collection is that it's actually the first piece collected. It was purchased by the, one of the collectors while she was in art school at UWM. This piece is by Joanna Kelman, and what makes it a little unique for our collection is actually one of two self-portraits that she's created throughout her career. Not only is Jan Sear one of the collectors of the permanent collection here at the warehouse, but she's also a practicing artist. And so it makes sense that there are a significant amount of works in this collection by her as well. One of them being this monotype of Jan. And this is actually her very first monotype. She had been interested in them. She saw an exhibition and decided that she wanted to try doing them herself as an artist. And this one, she um, printed the monotype got it, looked at it, didn't really like what she had seen, so she decided to wet the plate and print it again, and that's when we got this image, um, which is a little more smudged, but a little, little loose. It has a really nice feel to it. And it stays on theme with her as an artist creating self-portraits, which she really enjoys doing, and is reflected in the collection, as there are also a lot of other self-portraits in the collection, as well as monotypes, which is another interest of her and um, John as collectors. A type of printmaking in which the artist paints directly onto the plate and then runs it through the press. Autotype is a kind of a marriage between printing and painting. This piece by Michael Mazur is actually a combination of a couple different types of printmaking. One of them being monotype. Um, it's actually done in three panels, but there's also a woodblock print that's been, that's been put in. So um, this is kind of demonstrating the artist's mastery of, of, of using printmaking and using prints. focus of the collection are contemporary works by Japanese artists, particularly works on paper. One of the artists that they have quite a significant amount of, this collection has a couple hundred pieces by Kobio. There are some of the earlier pieces in the collection, they're late 18 to early 1900s, um, but what makes them so beautiful is they almost have this painterly quality to them, and they're all representing characters and scenes from no theater. There's um, baskets and there's metalwork. It, it's a big variety. Um, this one is by artist Jiro Yonazawa. 
um, originally from Japan, lives I believe in Portland right now. Um, and he likes to take the idea of traditional Japanese basketry and play with that and expand on that idea. So this is all um, bamboo and yurishi lacquer that he's put together with these little steel studs. That this one's called samsara, which is supposed to represent um, the circularness of life and death. Um, but he's, he's really gone grand with it. It's a great piece. So another focus of the collection is um, photographs of childhood. And that's something that as the collectors were building their collection, they started an interest in photography a little later on. And as their photo collection grew, they started realizing that the works in their collection do focus on different aspects of childhood. Um, it was not an intention, but once they realized that, it kind of inspired them to continue collecting works like that. So all of the photos in here show different stages of childhood and different aspects of childhood. This piece by Anne Ream is from a series that she did of ch children with their comfort objects. So this piece is titled Kira and Mimi, and Mimi I believe is the blanket, so it's her with her 